folks, Anders here. It's been a while. Um, thought we'd do a little video update today, a little bloggy update, um, and I've got a little flipping challenge update as well. Uh, well, thing to do. Right, so sorry about the lack of videos the last few weeks. I've been ill. Um, simple as that. I'm still ill. Um, you can probably see I am um, skinny. I've lost a lot of weight. Um, anyway, stuff is happening. So, um, and work's been busy, so I haven't been able to post a video. Right, so first up, um, I went to my local game the other day, um, and they got like their bargain bin kind of thing. And now I, I kind of like collecting steel books and stuff like that. I've not got a huge amount, but I've got a few. I think you've seen some from some previous videos. Um, and here's a little bargain bin. They got some steel books. They are just the empty cases, um, but. There was no price on them or anything like that, and so I went to the till and the guy was like, well, it's a donation to a charity, um, and he said it's a minimum donation of 50p, so I chucked in two quid and got four steel books. The Tomb Raider one was sealed, comes with a little postcard pack. Um, yeah, I don't own any of these games yet. I've got all of the other Tomb Raiders, not the new one. Uh, but that, it was just cause four and a Technomancer one. Uh, but yes, yeah, so they cost two quid for all those, which was quite neat. Uh, if you've got a CEX local to you and you like steel books, go and have a look in their bargain bin and see what you can find. So, um, I did a video, oh, about a month ago now, where I did um, how much can I flip with the money in my pocket kind of thing, and I got about £2.70, um, and I went to the one charity shop, and uh, it's the one that does uh, 25 pence each or 10 for a pound on DVDs, games, whatever. Um, so I went back there about two weeks ago now, that's how long it's been since I've done any video or update, um, and I filled a bag. Ta -da! I spent two pounds on this, all of this. Um, the last one that I did um, actually made from the two pound, I think I made about six or seven pound back. The one, one, of, one, one single um, film, well, kids TV show one, I think it was Rosie and Jim, was £5 on its own. So, yeah. So I thought, right, so, and a lot of the other stuff was worthless, so it got recycled and went back to the charity shop. So, yeah, so I've got a big baggy full Yeah, You get to my trusty phone. So I haven't checked the price on any of this stuff. I don't know how much it's worth, if it's worth anything. If I can get two quid back off it, I'll be happy. But we'll see. So what I'll do is I'll empty out, and you can see what we've got. I'll show you the stash and then we'll go through it all and compare prices. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, that's bear with me a second. Right, so that is the stash. There's a mix of TV show stuff, there's a mix of some DS games, I'll explain those in a second. Um, some kids films again. Bit of everything really. Bless, another FIFA. Yeah, got to pick up the FIFAs. So yeah, so what we'll do is we'll um, grab our trusty, trusty phone and check some prices and see how much this is worth. Worth, worth, worth. Right, the two DS games, first of all, is My Horse and Me and Hannah Montana. So they were 10 p each, they are, bereft of games. Obviously, <coughs> somebody's been along and poached the carts out of them. But I picked them up simply because I've got a load of DS games that don't have cases. So now I've got some cases for them, I can straight print the covers. So it was worth it 10 pence each just for a couple of empty DS cases, I think so anyway. So yeah, so, so that was, so we're already 20 pence down, but hey, Right, so first up we have the Incredibles 2 Disc Collector's Edition. Does it come with both discs? It does. Are both discs clean? Uh, Disney stuff is usually an easy win. That one's a decent condition disc. That one's nice and clean, so yeah, I'll try that. Right, so let's load up the app and see how much we get. Yeah, super skinny. Look, stood like literally nothing to me. Okay, so let's go for Incredibles. 
So, the two disc special edition of The Incredibles goes for a magnificent 50 pence. So we've already made a quarter of our money back on one. That's not bad. 50p. I'll take that. Next up we have Spongebob, who lives in a pineapple under the sea. And this one is Nautical Nonsense and Sponge Buddies. Okay. Nautical Nonsense and Sponge Buddies. We have 10 seaworthy episodes. Trades in for a penny. So, so that's a worthless one. We got Fever 12, I know straight away that's worth a penny, but again, it's a 360 case, which are always useful to replace old Mac 360 cases, so we'll put that in the penny pile. Next up, uh, we got some oh, Grey's Anatomy. My wife likes this. I, I'd say I don't like it, but I actually will sit and watch it, to be fair. It's, I don't know, it's been going on for about like, 50,000 years now, but hey. Uh, what season are we? Series 4. Grey's Season 4. Ooh, trades in for a penny. Out of luck. Right, Bratz Girls Radio Rock. Actually, let's barcode these rather than type in and see if we can do this any quicker. Let's go for search, go for barcode. Yeah, this is quicker actually. And also a penny. Sucks. Gossip Girls. Complete third season. Let's barcode this. Doink. And also a penny. Jeez, TV box sets. I'm only trading in for a penny. That's disappointing. Another one. We have Desperate Housewives season two, the extra juicy edition. Boo. Uh, never seen Desperate Housewives. Really have no interest in it. And wow, a penny. So we're not doing so great. Next up is My Chemical Romance for Black Parade. I did not buy this for trading in. I bought it because my daughter is obsessed with anything emo. And she wanted, like, she's doing like a whole thing on a wall at the moment with posters and things like that. So it was worth it for 10 pence for her to put the big poster inside it on the wall. And then I'll chuck the CD in the carcass. You know, who doesn't love a bit of MCR? most people. Right, so next up we have Taken Double Pack. Not for rental. Do you know, I never check in any of these as well. I really, really should um, to see, or in the actual shop in itself to see if any of them do come up with the, um, um, oh, that trades in at a penny as well, so we're not doing so well. Family Guy Season 3. Family Guy stuff. Right, this used to trade in really, really well, so I'm hopeful on this. And, oh no, a penny too. Sad times. We are not doing so well. Right, Transformers. Robots in disguise, evil intent. Barcode this boy. And a penny. Wow. Okay. I think we're uh, looking out on this. This is not a good one. And next one we've got Angelina the Ballerina. I'm hopeful on these because I figured. No, penny. See, I thought Angelina Ballerina is about the same time as like Rose and Jim and all that kind of stuff that they might actually trade in for a decent amount. But we have Angelina Ballerina trades in for one penny also. Sadness. Bratz as a movie. No, Bratz the video. Also a penny. Sadness. Californication, the first season. Sealed. I really enjoyed Californication when it first came out. I don't know why I stopped watching it. Um, penny. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. We're not doing well. Next up, we've got a Wii game. we got uh, Tiger Woods PGA Tour all, oh, 09 All Play. Um, it's the official Wii case. Got the disc. Disc in good condition. Um, I'm not hopeful on this because, yeah, but hey, let's give it a go and barcode this. Do, 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 do. Come on, scan, think about it. And 10 pence. So we broke even on that one. Wow. Next up, we've got another family guy. I don't think this one's going to go so well. 
and also a penny for that family guy. Last PlayStation 2 game, we have Buzz the Big Quiz. Um, it's in the official PlayStation case, it's got a memory card holder, the disc is decent condition, so they'll try it in. Uh, comes with a manual, it's the red case, ones which usually came with the Buzz ones. There's no barcode on it because it's a bundle one, so we'll have to type this one in manually. Let's give it a go, so what are we, Buzz Big Quiz? Buzz Big Quiz, no buzzers. Um, they trade in for 20 pence. Okay, so... Hmm. <laughs> right, so we'll trade that one back in at 50p. We'll trade that one back in at... Was that one 10 pence? And that one at 20 pence. So, back off the whole lot. 50, 70, 80 pence and we spent two quid. That's not good. So, that giant pile there, um, I will just dump back at the charity shop um, because it's really not worth anything, it's not worth keeping. Um, there's no um, UV codes of anything, which is a shame because I don't like at least redeem those and stick them onto my Google account or whatever, but never mind. But we did get another Xbox 360 case. Um, and yeah, so. That sucked. No mind. Uh, but we did also get a couple of DS cases as well. So, even though that pile there, there you go, put it there, that pile there is the one that is all absolutely worthless. And before we say, I don't watch DVDs, I've got a 4K telly and a 4K player and Blu ray player, and um, we stream and we have Netflix and a Prime and stuff anyway. So, DVDs are not anything. Um, if you want any of them, and you want to pay postage on them, just like let me know and I'll post them out to you. But honestly, they're just, just going to get jumped in the charity shop. Oh yeah, we did get MCR as well. So, was it worth it? Two quid for 80 pence back. Eh, not really. Um, but it was another ex experiment. It's interesting because it's... <clears throat> as I'm doing these videos where I'm buying and selling... Well, not selling, trading in for credit, because selling is naughty and then I'd have to declare an income. Um, and flipping... So these flipping videos, it's interesting to try and f gauge what's worth and what's not. Like I say, the last one that I did, I didn't think Rosie and Jim would be worth anything. That was five quid on its own, so, you know, made easy money back off that. Whereas this time around, you know, it's not worth anything, so. But again, we've got some, got a Wii case, got a 360 case, got a PS2 case. We can trade in The Incredibles, which is good. Um, we've got a couple of empty DS cases and we've got an MCR CD. That's it. Waffle on along the 30 minutes of the video. I'm going to upload this one straight um, to um, YouTube. That's the one. YouTube um, now. Um, I do apologise for the lack of videos. I break up from work. I have one more day at work. I'm in on Monday. And then after that, I have five weeks off. Can't wait. I've got a few appointments here and there. Um, I've got hospital things sucks um but also going away as long as my tummy can hold up because the whole thing is all related i've explained that in my previous videos um <clears throat> yeah um so but we're we're going to our in-laws new caravan in mid wales near Aberystwyth at devil's bridge and we're going to do some hiking and i'm going to do some maybe camping and maybe some cookouts and some bushcrafty stuff. I can't wait. I really, really can't wait. And I can't wait to bring you along on my journey as well. I've got another few videos that I've stacked up. I've recorded. I just haven't uploaded yet. And I may just stick out a bonanza today on them. Um, so yeah, thanks for your patience. Sorry I've been no content the last few weeks. Just been, work's been busy. And because I've been poorly as well, it's kind of double folded into chaos. But work stress is now done. I can chill and relax. Any teachers watching this, you know the drill. It's the end of year, it's moderation visits. You've got to get everything done for it. So, um, yeah, expect some more videos. I'm setting up my lathe. I've got to clean out my shed, but I'm getting my lathe set up in the next couple of weeks as well. I can't wait to actually do some wood turning. Right, that's it. Thanks for watching if you've watched this. If you haven't, sad times. If you watched to the end of this, hi, how you doing? Um, leave a comment. Well wishes are nice. Um, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take it easy. Have a great weekend, whatever you're doing. Um, 
And again, more content will be coming soon. Toodaloo!